রামকৃষ্ণ মিশন অ্যান্ড রামকৃষ্ণ বিবেকানন্দ মিশন আর ডিফারেন্ট ইনস্টিটিউশনস ইন ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গল অ্যান্ড সো টু সে ইন ইন্ডিয়া দেয়ার আর থ্রি অর্গানাইজেশনস অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড উইথ দি হোলি নেমস অফ রামকৃষ্ণ হোলি মাদার অ্যান্ড স্বামী বিবেকানন্দ নাও অল দিস থ্রি অর্গানাইজেশনস আর ডিফারেন্ট ফ্রম ইচ আদার লিগালি অ্যান্ড কনস্টিটিউশনালি but they work uh, with the same objective now the uniqueness of the service rendered by the ramkrishna vivekananda mission is nothing new compared to other two organizations standing almost in the same name the universal popularity of ramkrishna vivekananda particularly shyam vivekananda in whose name this institution stands is not so much for vivekananda's achievement in spiritual field that he was a great saint that was that he was the principal uh, disciple of ramkrishna all these things not Uh, widely known to the people and in fact vivekananda is known widely and more popular than his guru sri ramkrishna although whatever vivekananda told whatever the vivekananda taught come from his guru sri ramkrishna but when he actually compared the teachings of ramkrishna and vivekananda we find the teachings are almost diametrically opposite to each other why sri ramkrishna giving emphasis on the realization of god in this very life renunciation and this and that shami vivekananda he became a great revolutionary he was very logical in this aspect he heard and learned that the gods and goddesses they are omniscient omnipotent all powerful and very kind too so he had a soliloquy a talk to himself a question if somebody is all powerful and merciful then why he is not kind to his own devotees thousands of devotees every day go to the temple and offer flowers and fruits in tones at the holy feet of the lord but even then their misery is not near not remote lakhs of people are still lying in utter ignorance in uh, a condition uh, not very hygienic and educated under the sky unfit why this happens while there are 33 lakhs of gods and goddesses in india who offer flowers and fruits and puja worship to the temple almost every day so vivekananda asked to himself either these gods have no power at all or they are not merciful they are not kind enough in either case let us forget it let us keep the temples and statue confined in the temple itself under lock and key let us find out some other temples and he discovered he said if you need a temple for your worship if you need a statue for your worship human soul human body is the best temple and human soul is the best statue on 21st january 2003 president of india dr apj abdul kalam visited and donated his two month salary <laughs> good morning children and good morning students and good morning to all the teachers 
and uh, for assembled here, parents, for all of you I greet today. Uh, Honorable Sri Vrindam Shah, Governor Swami Nidyanand, uh, when I hear Swami Nidyanand, when I entered here, uh, from that time I entered, I asked Swamiji, Swami Nidyanand, uh, Swami Nidyanand, that means Anand, uh, is everywhere, always. So how are you spreading Anand, I asked him. Then he didn't give me an answer. Then when I went to the temple, when I see the children handicapped, when the children visually impaired, when the children orphans, when the old uh, aged person, persons, then I found Nidhyanand is provides here. So God, God bless you and I wish you all the best.